Well, it is the season for spreading a little holiday cheer through Christmas cards and letters, mm -hmm. but some lawmakers on Capitol Hill have not been allowed to do so in writing to their constituents. Now that's about to change, and WENY Washington correspondent Lauren Adams tells us why. Happy Holidays! Merry Christmas! Happy New Year! You hear them often this time of year, holiday salutations. But until now, if you expected one from your elected representative in Washington, you are out of luck. You may not have been aware of this little known fact, but in the past, members of the House uh, were actually prohibited from including any form of a holiday greeting in their communications to constituents, even if it was incidental to the full context of the uh, communication. But not anymore. Michigan Congresswoman Candace Miller chairs the House Franking Commission, a bipartisan board that makes sure each Congress member's communication with constituents stays appropriate. Miller says it was time for a change. With this new, very common sense policy, it allows members to share their holiday wishes with constituents when sending you, the people we represent, an official update on Congress's activities or a response to a letter or a response to an email that uh, perhaps you've sent. Since 1975, holiday salutations had to be excluded from all correspondence between lawmakers and constituents because committee members didn't want to misuse taxpayer dollars. Well, now that holiday greetings can be included, that doesn't mean you'll find cards like these in your mailbox. If you do find these this holiday season, rest assured they're being funded through the representatives campaign money. Miller says this simple policy change shows bipartisan cooperation and will let the holiday spirit shine brighter for everyone. And the meaning behind a holiday salutation transcends, certainly across our diverse nation. These greetings are just one way in which we wish joy, peace, and the chance for renewal to everyone. Reporting in Washington, I'm Lauren Adams.